Shalom. Shalom on Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, patience, it's true. In sincerity all over the earth. Another Shalom to you, hopefully, like that. Too. And uh, I want to just touch on this uh, real briefly, real quick. Uh, going into the part two of the lesson that I did, going into uh, the response to the Apostle Gabar, the lesson that he did going into this is here's proof that Christianity is not the uh, here's proof why Christianity is not the truth and I want to add on to what I was bringing into the lesson that I did going into it because there's several there's 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 uh, hundreds of reason why we know but what he was going into in his video was uh the numbers how many people are Christians in the world and stuff along that in that and he was going into how the how it says this gospel is going to be preached into all of the to the ends of the earth and then then the end shall come and he was and also was bringing out the point that Christianity has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years so how has it how has it been with the how is that going to be the gospel that's going to be preached into all the world and the end's going to come and it's been around for hundreds of years and they're gaining thousands and thousands of people in there all the time <clears throat> so that and, and then I did a response off that but then I want to just keep going on the point that how is Christianity way with everything that they say that's in the scriptures is is does everything they say and teach in the churches does not line up with the scriptures that's how you know it can't be the way because what they're saying when you go to church they don't want when they don't open the scriptures they don't open it they don't they don't open the book they don't read out of it they just quote it and they just come up they just sing dance and do all types of things that's not that has nothing to do with the scriptures but <clears throat> the things that they say don't line up with scriptures so what so what is so what is that what the scripture is it is what the scriptures say right or what your your pastor pork chop says when you go in there on sunday right because he doesn't open the scriptures he'll he'll uh quote one or two and then build the whole ceremony the hair the whole the whole uh ceremony off that of that one or two uh quoted scriptures and, 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 and they, yes and everybody starts fainting passing out catching the so-called holy the holy ghost fainting and doing uh, and churches church is just a movie scene man it's nothing but folly but Let's get this. This is meant to be real quick. Or well, not real quick, but uh we got a couple of scriptures that they go into that they always say. Or things that they always say, and I got scriptures to to see if that backs up their point. And this first one I got right here is Acts five and twenty nine, and it's going on the point. Who who did the Savior die for? Because it's about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus died for everybody. Jesus did this. Jesus loves everybody. God loves everybody. This and that. No, man. Let's see what we're going to find out. Let's see what the scriptures say. So we're going to find out who, who the Savior died for. Let's get it. Matthew 5 <clears throat> and 29. We're getting straight to the point. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. The Most High of our fathers raised up Yahweh, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath the Most High him hath the most I exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance and f to Israel. That's who it's for. Him hath the most I exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to who? To the whole world, brother? To Israel and forgiveness of sins. See? To Israel and forgiveness of sins. Who was given the law to even to for who was given the law to even be able to commit sins? The Israelites. You're not gonna find nowhere in the scripture that the law was given to the other nations. So where is that at? And that's another thing right there. <clears throat> the law was given to the Israelites, only the Israelites. The Savior was on the cross for the for the Israelites, not all the other nations, not the whole world, not your not your eating my grandmother. No, man. <laughs> no. To Israel and forgiveness of sins. That's the one thing they say in Christianity that doesn't line up with this scripture right here. And many and many other several scriptures. You see? And let's get this one right here. Uh, 
<clears throat> Matthew 1 and verse 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she shall bring forth the son. And thou shalt call his name Yahusha, for he shall save his people from their sins. And who's, and who's the Lord's people? The Israelites. And there's one more scripture. Hold on. I have to. I can't quite remember how it's quoted, but I believe I wrote the precept down next to the one that's in Acts. So let's see if I can pull this up real quick. There's one more scripture I want to read. Acts 5. One second, let's see if I wrote it down. I think it's in I think it's in Jeremiah. Um 3 and 23. Let's see if this is it. Bear with me. I couldn't think. I couldn't exactly think how it was uh, worded. So let's see if this is it. Um. Oh, this is not what I wanted. Can't quite remember how it's worded. I thought it was in. Shh. Bear with me. I know. I know. I wrote it down somewhere for one of these precepts. I don't even know quite where to for it. If I can't find it, then I'll just. Uh, I know it's not in Hebrews. Let's see if I wrote it down in the one that, in Matthew. If I can't, if I can't find it, then I'm just gonna have to move on from it. Got exactly where it was. I can't remember how it's quoted. Um, hold on, it might be. Hold on. might be it right here. This is not the one I wanted, but we're going to read it. Um, it's Isaiah 53. And verse 4. Surely he hath borne our griefs. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the most high and afflicted. Verse 5, it says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was inflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He brought, <clears throat> he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken, 
he was taken from prison and from judgment and whom and who shall declare his generation. He was cut out of the land of the living for the transgressions of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he done no violence. Neither was there any deceit in his mouth. Yet it, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. And yet he put to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. <clears throat> To the point that I was one of at the top, and it says he was he was wounded for our transgressions, and who transgressed against the law of of the heavenly Father, man, the Israelites, the Israelites, and you can't show nowhere in the scriptures that it was no other nation that transgressed away from the, the Most High's laws, man. You can't prove that. And let's get this real quick. Hold on. Let's get this. One more. I didn't wasn't planning on bringing this out, but since that scripture right there got brought out, I gotta bring this out. Um hold on. It's kinda hard to hold the phone and flip through the book. I wasn't even planning on bringing none of this out. These particular scriptures, so now we gotta we gotta keep going. Now we're gonna we're gonna read this in in, the, in Deuteronomy. We're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna prove our point. Now <clears throat> let's get it. Deuteronomy Deuteronomy one and verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Israel, see, so we know you know who's Moses talking to. On this side of Jordan, in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea between Paran and Tophel and Laban and Hazaroth and uh, Dizahab. There are eleven days journey from Harod by the way of Mount Seir unto Kadesh Barnea. And it came to pass in the fourteenth year in the eleventh month on the first day of the month that the Moses spake unto the children of Israel according to all the Lord have given him in the commandment unto them see he's, he was talking to the Israelites and that's where the commandment and the laws was given to which were the Israelites which the church don't teach that the church teach everybody had the law everybody sins everybody does this we're all God's children which that's not the case at all <clears throat> that's not in the scriptures that's how you know Christianity is not the way because they know nothing but lie and lie and lie and lie that's all they do. <clears throat> Let's keep going. We're all, we're all the most highest children. Let's find out what the scriptures say. God just loves everybody. He just love, 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 love. Uh, we're going to see if he loves, 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 love. And we're all his children. Let's get straight to the point. Um, Romans 9. And verse 6. Actually, no. Romans 9 and 3 For I wish that myself were a curse from the anointed For my brethren, my kinsmen According to the flesh Who are Israelites To whom pertaineth the adoption And the glory and the covenants And the giving of the law The service and the service of the Most High And the promises This all goes to the Israelites See we all gonna be in the king We all gonna be rulers brother No 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 we're not all gonna be rulers because other nations are going to be servants Whose are the fathers And of whom as concerning the flesh The Mashiach came Mashiach came Who was over all God bless forever Amen It says not as though The word of the Most High Have not taken an effect For they are not all Israel Which are of Israel Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children? But in Isaac shall the seed be called. That is, they they which are the children of the flesh. These are, are not the children of the Most High. But the children of the promise are accounted for the seed. Ooh. These are not the children of the Most High, man. They're not. Because we know. 
Abraham didn't just have one son. We know that. So who, who could that be talking about? Because there's a chosen line and there is not a chosen line, as we can clearly see in the scriptures, man. Most high is dealing with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I know not not Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. No, it's not dealing with Esau, man. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Find out if Most High loves it. Right? We're gonna skip down. We're gonna go down to uh, verse twelve, Romans nine and twelve, and it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And when you read it, it says, before the children were born, neither done any good or evil. What does the scripture say? And people say he hated his sin. He hated his sin. No, he didn't. didn't he he he. What is it? What do the people? The people in the church say they say they he hates his sin but loved the sinner. That's not in the scriptures. <laughs> That's not in the scriptures at all. And neither is he hated what Esau did. He hated his sin because it it clearly specifies in the eleventh verse, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. So it could have been nothing that they have done. Before they were born, before they did any good or evil, that immediately cuts. He hated Esau's sin. Immediately cuts. And you can't prove it in the scriptures that he hated his sin. That's just nothing but you vain babbling right there. You're just talking. You're reaching. You're casting out the line for the fish, and it's not catching no bait, man. You're just reaching with that statement. Anything you have to, anything you say, you have to go to the scriptures and prove that it says that. Because I done heard that countless of times that he hated he, he he hated Esau's sin. He hates the sin, but loved the sinner. I heard that countless. Come as you are. But where's that at in the scriptures? Where's that at? These people love the scriptures so much, but never go to the scriptures to back up anything that they're saying. It doesn't make any sense. Just like this thing right here. Another thing what Christianity lied about is, is what the Savior looked like. Because just today, just today... And I was driving. I live close to this uh, abortion clinic. And I was driving by. And there was tons and tons of people outside. Out, not in front of, in front of the clinic. But in front of, uh, like, the street. to get, Having signs and a whole bunch of people standing on both sides of the street. To try to make them shut it down and stuff like that. And, the first, and one of the things I seen when I was getting close to the end of all the people. Because it was about 40, 50 people just standing out there. Right when I got close to the sign, it was people near the end. It was Jesus forgives, Jesus loves, Jesus the this, and Jesus that. And what did I see? Guess guess who's right there on one of the posters? We got the man. We got the Cesare Borgia sitting right there, sitting there. Jesus. And it was a whole bunch of white. It was a whole bunch of Edomites, more than likely. <clears throat> All just out there. And they had the sign right next to him. And that was Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus doesn't do anything for nobody. And has not done anything for nobody. We put our people in a complete deep sleep, man. And that's where all these scriptures come from, man. That that name and that image, that's where all these lies come from. He loves everybody, came for everybody, uh, loves the lo hate the sin, love the sinner, come as you are. All this, all this stuff. You can do whatever you want to do, love who you want to love, eat what you want to eat, do what you want to do. That all comes under that vibration, man, of that man, that image, and that name. And what do they say? He look like so-called white man, blind hair, blue eyes. What does the scripture say, man? Revelation 1, and we're going to end it off right here. Just want to do a quick part two. Revelation 1 and verse 13. We all know the scripture. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and the girt about the paps with the golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. See? That, that's what they also lied about. That's how you know it's not the truth because they got everything. Everything that they say does not line up with the scriptures. 
need the, not what what it says you can eat, what it says you can do, how you conduct yourself, um, what the Savior look like, what the Most High look like, what do the angels look like, who are the people? That's that's one of the main things. Who is the people, man? Who is the Israelites? They, they, you don't even learn about the Israelites in church. You just about, you learn about love, 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 love. And then when church is over, you you go out there and smoke a cigarette. <laughs> See, let's say no Christianity is not the way. That's gonna close out. Might have to do. Yeah, you, you, you can, you can, you can just continue and go on this topic. Might have to do a part three, because you can just continue and go on and on and on about this topic. Man. That's how you just know it's not the truth. So you've been taught nothing but lies, and nothing, everything you learned does not match up with the scripture. All right, we're gonna close out. We'll give our praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders. Great millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, pushing this truth and sincerity all over the earth. Another shalom to you, all for elect out there. I'll catch you guys in another lesson. Lord willing. Shalom.